today we're talking about my top five Tom Ford colognes from the whole line. So if you want to know which colognes from Tom Ford line are the best in terms of longevity, scent profile and uniqueness, definitely stay tuned. Three, two, one, let's do this. My name is Monica Chow and on this channel we talk about fragrances. So if you're interested in fragrances, press that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified of my latest videos, otherwise YouTube won't show you my latest videos. But now let's go and talk about Tom Ford. Tom Ford is a designer fragrance house. The main designer sort of uh, line that is a bit cheaper than their private blend line. So their private blend line, the bottles look different. All the scents pretty much are said to be unisex, whereas the designer scent line is, well, it's divided into male fragrances and female fragrances. And yeah, as I said, the price point is a bit uh, cheaper. So I love Tom Ford. It's one of my favorite designer brands. I really do um, love their scents. I think the main point for them is they make a fragrances that last, which I absolutely love. Number five has to be Black Orchid. Black Orchid is part of the designer blend, right? So it is more accessible in terms of price point, but it isn't any less great than the private line in my opinion. It is a world-renowned fragrance, okay? Uh, this fragrance is very different. It's very powerful. This is an assertive scent that you'll be able to smell all day long. Uh, it's unisex, so both men and women uh, can wear it. Women and men, I want to say. And it smells of chocolate, of orchid obviously black orchid it's an incredibly dark fragrance uh, that is slightly gourmand it has got a gourmand so edible a nature but it's also very dark dusty it's for those of you that really love fragrances that speak for themselves if you want to walk into a room and somebody will be like whoa this fragrance this person is confident this is a fragrance that really tells people you're incredibly assertive confident like go get a career driven just really really strong that is one of those fragrances that will get you attention it's not one of those fragrances that will get you loads of compliments because it's a love it or hate it fragrance so if you like to be polarizing this is your goat goat <laughs> go to scent number four is soleil blanc so this is a part of the um, private blend and it's a unisex scent and some people say um, oh the scent is just too basic why would you put it in this um, section but really to me this is a perfect holiday summer scent it smells like sun lotion it smells like warm uh, coconut and vanilla uh, it's milky it's just yummy it's so so good and it really lasts a long time in a, a summer heat it lasts a bit less in like in the winter sort of weather but in the summer it's amazing and for me I find it quite hard to find a fragrance that is smells like that has got that sun lotion sort of vibe and doesn't smell cheap and uh, this fragrance doesn't smell cheap whatsoever it is a gourmand summer scent that is just so yummy it's one of the best seller fragrances and i'm not surprised because i absolutely love it and if you have never smelt it definitely I give it a go it's different to most of the line um, it's a bit lighter it's a bit um, less controversial it's very very likable and again unisex so you can wear it it's so so good definitely check out number four Soleil Blanc number three is one of the darker fragrances so noir de noir and this fragrance quite literally smells like roses and uh, a box of chocolates 
and this is meant to smell like it. It's meant to smell. Uh, it's meant to smell like a date night, and it definitely does. It's so gourmandish, strong, dark, and so syrupy. This is one of those fragrances that is again unisex, but it's just edible. You want to just eat this fragrance when you wear it. It's powerful it's strong and I love how it totally does uh, what it's meant to do like when you smell it you just instantly imagine uh, a bouquet of red roses and a box of chocolate it almost smells like um, even the cardboard you get like a mix of cardboard and the chocolates and it does also like smell like that somewhat which is incredible it just gives you a very visual picture which i absolutely love that's one of the fragrances that you know does like a fun thing in your mind that it doesn't really smell like a literal flower it just smells like a situation which yeah for me it's a it's a really masterpiece and a, it's incredibly sexy and dark and mysterious. So number three, Noir de Noir. Number two, in my opinion, is Oud Wood. And I've got it somewhere there <laughs> behind me. If I had to say to a guy, like recommend a guy uh, one cologne from Tom Ford line, I would probably, uh, for every day, I would recommend Tom Ford Wood wood because it's unique it's incredibly masculine it's approachable it's an approachable wood scent that is just so masculine and sexy and appropriate for every day but unique modern just so well done um, to Tom Ford for making this fragrance it's so compliment getting um, my husband was wearing it the other day we went somewhere uh, because the lockdown is you know the situation is becoming a bit more free like you we, we're free to meet some people outside and stuff and uh, a woman actually said to him I don't really uh, like many men's colognes but what are you wearing because this is amazing and I was with him and I was like yeah yeah because i told him that day to wear it because i was like oh this is fragrance i just i'm craving it can you wear it uh, so you will definitely get loads and loads of compliments and you'll smell unique and just wonderful so number two is wood wood number one is a fragrance uh, that i love wearing myself all the time in the winter especially it's tobacco vani from the private blend line <laughs> this oh my gosh i haven't smelt it in a long time oh so good this is a vanilla tobacco scent it's like a hug in a bottle it makes me smile like you can see i can't stop smiling when smelling it, it smells like christmas to me it smells like gingerbread cookies um it's just so sexy and cuddly and date night appropriate, winter appropriate. In the summer, I'll be scared that wasps would attack me with this one, but definitely a winter fragrance. Um, and autumn, wow, this just, oh, it's so unique smelling. You'll definitely have to check out uh, this one. So long lasting, so powerful. You only need like two sprays of this to just fill a room. People will be asking you, what are you wearing? Um, this is a fragrance that really demonstrates what Tom Ford is about to me. They make unique, very strong fragrances. And most of their fragrances of the private blend I feel like are the more meant for men to wear actually uh, but this one I do also wear and absolutely love but on a man the tobacco like it just smells like a London men's lounge it smells like that it really smells like tobacco um, just cigars it's wonderful and not in a horrible way because i really dislike uh, cigarettes and <laughs> the smell of cigarettes but this is just different this is a heavy uh, syrupy sort of tobacco vanilla scent oh my gosh it's so good this is the best of the best 
the back of any by Tom Ford. Let me know which Tom Ford fragrance you absolutely love. Let me know down in the comments and let's read the comment of the day. And today's comment is from Costa. Costa, yes. I used to watch you and my work every day during the lockdown back in April. I really enjoyed your videos and the tone of your voice, which is very calming. It was only me and another guy working in my workplace and I had the best time. Aww. The lockdown was the best time for me. That's so cute. Thank you so much. Um, I really like that I could accompany you from this through this lonely lockdown and you're really brave that you actually went to work in April uh, because I think many people just were on full low still. Thank you so much for your comments. Remember I post every Monday and Thursday so do press that notification bell to get notified and if you love a fragrance you can wear it. I'll see you all again very very soon. Bye guys.